Hi, my name is Kevin Smith and I'm an Agilent Applications Engineer for Scopes. Today, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to make a start time or settle time measurement for a voltage controlled oscillator. Uh, this will be very, very similar uh, to a DLL lock time or PLL lock time. Your definitions of start time and lock time may vary, but the idea is, is basically the same. Um, I've already defaulted my scope. I've already uh, set up my probes and compensated them. And um, my demo device will be um, <clears throat> just a little demo signal that I've, I've created. And uh, we'll start by putting some labels on these guys. Channel 1 will be the VCO itself. There we go. Channel 2 Channel 2 would be the control signal and we are going to use a math function we need to apply that label and channel uh, we're going to use a math function okay and new label for that will be a frequency trend Okay, so um, on my particular board, I've got it. I've got um, my VCO just looping on and off, so I can do an auto scale. Though you'll need to have some a priori knowledge of oh, there we go. I need to turn on my demo signals. You'll need to have you may you'll need to have some a priori knowledge of your signal. Okay. Um, <clears throat> All right, and since I'm going up and down and up and down, we really need to define a good trigger. Um, there's a couple of different easy ways to do this, but um, uh, we want to really we want to trigger on the rising edge on our control signal. And we want rising edge, and we want to make sure that's normally coupled so that doesn't false trigger. And we'll go to a longer time base. Okay. And one really nice thing about this scope is we have a touch screen, so you can always drive every aspect of it with your mouse, with a mouse or with your hand. I'm just using my the mouse for the purpose of this demo. If I push in the main time knob here, I get into vernier mode. And we don't really want to look at the uh, the turnoff time. That should be good enough. There we go. And I might want to lower that trigger level a little bit so that we are totally referenced to the, the very start of the control. This knob is slow in the gear, but that's okay. And uh, we can see that I, I didn't make this label stick. Fly label. Okay, there we go. All right, so we can just hit a sing. We can hit a single. <clears throat> All right, and one thing, one other thing we could do is we could maximize these signals, but um, and, and overlay them. Uh, but for the demo, this will be fine. We now want to go to the math menu uh, and turn on. Um, the, we want to select our operator. Okay, and that's going to be measurement trend. Okay. Source, channel 1, type frequency, it defaults to frequency, and we'll just turn it on. Click twice, okay. And so, what we see is that the frequency of the VCO spikes, droops, and then gets fairly flat. We see quite a bit of wander, uh, maybe not quite a bit, but we see some wander in here. All right. This wander is because I've intentionally put some phase noise, a lot of phase noise in my signal. All right, so... Um, <clears throat> what is going to be our time, uh, our startup time until we get stable? Well, we're going to turn on some cursors. All right. 
Uh, I want them to track the waveforms, okay? And I want the first one on the control, the second one on the VCO, okay? And I can either use this knob, right? And if I turn the knob at this point, I go to X1 or X2, pressing X2 turn basically locks me to X2, okay? Um, or I can use the, use my finger or the mouse. Actually, I want source two on the uh, frequency train rather. Okay, close this out, and it gets seems to get stable. Oh, probably to about in here, right about here, and my control. Is here, so this is our probably a reasonable uh, number for our, uh, for our turn on time, which we can see is about 178 and a half microseconds. Very nice. Um, so we can leave our cursors there. We can leave our cursors. We can decouple them actually. Let's put them right here, and I can even okay, yep. have our cursors there. I also want to make some measurements on all this, okay? And really, it's the measurements I want to move over here. Okay, there we go. Put this guy back over here. Okay. And I want to get rid of all the measurements I currently have. Clear it all. And what I want to do is I want to make a peak-to-peak -peak measurement on the frequency trend. Peak to peak, add measurement. Okay. And now I'm showing that my startup time <clears throat> uh, is approximately 178 microseconds. My peak to peak, my max swing on the frequency trend is about 20 kilohertz. Okay. But really what I care about is what's the swing in the stable region. Well, what I can do now is I go and I'm still in the measurements menu. I can go to my um, measurement window. I can either gate it with a zoom window, like on the 3000 or 2000, or I can use gated by cursors. This is only available on the 4000. The 2000, by the way, does not have a frequency trend. Okay, so now I'm going to gate my me this frequency trend measurement by, by the cursors. And in the relatively stable region, I can see that the swing's about 1.5 kilohertz. Okay, <clears throat> so there we go. Um, the second the second marker now is around 80 kilohertz. Um, so this is indicating what the approximate frequency of the, the VCO is. Okay, now what I could do if I really wanted to, I can also make um, Um, a different measurement on the trend, such as um, an ACRMS. This is going to be gated by so many cycles. Okay, and this is the amplitude, and I can repeat these kinds of measurements on the on the amplitude. And I see that in the gated region, I get about 17 millivolts of uh, ACRMS amplitude. Um, it's worth mentioning again that the um, <clears throat> that this math trend. Yeah, turn it on here. There we go. Um, all these operators are absolute are standard on the 4000X. It's an additional low cost package on the 3000 series and not available on the 2000 series. On the 3000, everything uh, FFT and above is standard. Uh, a, uh, linear transform and below is the additional uh, DSO X3 advanced math package. And that's that's how to measure a start time or a lock time. Thank you for your attention.